the 15th of July. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy martyrs Syricus and Julita. Saint Julita was born into the high nobility of Iconium, but she acquired true nobility, that given by the Holy Spirit in baptism. Becoming a widow, she renounced a second marriage in order to live in piety and God-pleasing works, together with her three-year-old son, Syricus. When Domitian, who was governor of Lycaonia, began furiously to apply the edicts of general persecution of the Christians, which had been sent by Diocletian in 304, she sought a refuge in Seleucia, preferring to renounce all her possessions and know the hardship of harsh exile rather than deny Christ. But she found in this town an even greater agitation, as Alexander, the emperor's envoy, had produced a reign of terror there by torturing and mercilessly putting to death all who would not submit to the edicts. Giving way then to anger, she left for Tarsus in Cilicia with her son and two handmaids. However, she found a tyrant there. He had overtaken her and was carrying out his dreadful task. Informed of the presence of this noble refugee, Alexander arrested her and had her appear before his tribunal, her son in her arms. The servants were able to escape and they followed the unfolding of events from hiding. Interrogated about her identity, Julita simply replied, I am a Christian, and the furious governor had her put to torture. The torturers tied her and flogged her with ox sinews, while others, having taken her weeping baby from her, gave the baby to the governor. Alexander took the baby in his arms, and placing him on his knees, caressed him and tried to embrace him, saying in a gentle voice, Let this sorceress go, and come to me, your father. I will make you my son and the heir to all my riches, and you will live a peaceful life without any cares. A baby in appearance, but possessing in reality the wisdom of an old man, Syricus turned to look at his mother, who was in torment, and repulsed the advances of the tyrant, beating him with his tiny fists and scratching him, and crying out, I too am a Christian. And he kicked the tyrant in the ribs, so that Alexander let go a cry of pain, and his spurious tenderness changing to fury, he grabbed the child by the foot and hurled it onto the marble staircase that led to the tribune. The holy child's skull was broken, and he immediately gave his soul into God's keeping, sanctifying the ground with his blood, and carrying off to heaven the crown of valiant athletes of piety. Saint Julita, his mother, was filled with divine joy, and thanked the Lord for having opened the gates of glory to her son. Taken before the governor, who was in no way appeased, she declared that no suffering would succeed now in overcoming her love for God, and that the tortures would on the contrary allow her to join her dear son. Alexander ordered that she be laid on a rack and her flesh be lacerated with iron nails, then that boiling pitch be poured over her limbs. In spite of the suffering, she continued to confess her faith in the Holy Trinity, and she added, I am in a hurry to join my son to rejoice with him in the kingdom of heaven. Realizing that he would get nowhere, Alexander finally ordered that she be beheaded. When the saint arrived at the scaffold a short way outside the town, she asked the executioners for a moment's respite to pray. Falling to her knees, she thanked the Lord for having counted her worthy to enter his nuptial chamber with the wise virgins. She had only just said the Amen when the executioner swung his sword and cut off her head. Her body and the body of St. Syricus were thrown into the ditch reserved for those condemned as common felons. On the following night, though, St. Julita's two handmaids came to take the precious relics, and they buried them in a cave in the area. 
when the light of faith was able to shine freely during the reign of St. Constantine, one of these women who had survived revealed where the relics were hidden, and from then onwards crowds of the faithful hastened to take fragments of these precious relics, which worked numerous healings. Blessed is the Lord always in all forever and the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, God, glory to you, heavenly King, the comfort of the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere and filling all things, treasure of blessing, giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. of the tyrants and now in heaven wearing precious crowns they both rejoice as they stand before Christ our God traversing the waters on dry land and thereby escaping from the toils of Egypt's land the Israelites cried aloud proclaiming unto our God and Redeemer let us now sing O holy martyr Syracus and Julita, pray to God for us. Proclaiming the word who verily was begotten of the Father and incarnate of the Mother, you became witnesses of his sufferings through your own sufferings and death. Holy martyr Syracus and Julita, pray to God for us. The God-inspired martyr Julita, like a brightly shining moon, together with the sun born of her, even Syracus, in a light in all creation with the rays of miracles. Holy Martyr Syracus and Julita, pray to God for Thou us. exchange fleeting things for those that cannot in any way be moved, and carrying thy Son in thine arms, O Martyr, with him thou hast darkened the air of the lawless and of the devil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Being of glorious lineage, O Martyr Julita, thou became the daughter of the immortal King through martyrdom and many kinds of torment. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through thee, death has been destroyed, and the sting of Hades has been done away, O pure Mother. For thou gavest birth to the immortal master who was put to death in the flood. Of the vault of the heavens art thou, o Lord, passioner, so too of the church art thou founder. Do thou establish me in unfeigned love for thee who art the height of things sought for, and staff of the faithful, O thou only friend of man. 
O holy martyr Syracus and Julia, pray to God for us. You have been deemed worthy of heavenly bridal chambers and the luminous inheritance and everlasting glory, O glorious martyrs, having utterly done away the stings of the devil by the pains of your contact. Holy martyr Syracus and Julia, pray to God for Praise us. As the fair fledgling of a chaste dove, thou didst imitate her in withstanding the deceiver who drew nigh to thee with flatteries and strove to despoil thee, invincible though thou wast, O glorious Syrica. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the whole armor of the cross, a godless babe completely dashed to the ground and destroyed that proud serpent, who set his mouth against heaven, and boasted that he would blot out the earth. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Word who is beyond being and gave their being to all things, emptied not the Father's bosom when he dwelt in thine old blameless womb. O Immaculate Virgin, he appeared in the flesh without suffering change and deified mortals. O ye lovers of martyrs, come let us praise the Lord's athletes that pair of noetic pearls. Divinely bless Syracus and Julita who gave him birth, for the three-year-old child that she fed with her very milk she has offered to God as an unblemished sacrifice. Wherefore she has also now received crowns of victory, with him from the Lord on high, and with Christ do they both rejoice. Let us cry unto them with faith. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them, that with longing keep your holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In entangling temptations am I enmeshed, both by visible foes and invisible. Strong billows encompass me through mine endless iniquities, since I know that thou art my protection and fervent help. To the haven of thy boundless goodness do I now run. Wherefore, O all holy and immaculate virgin, entreat him who seedlessly was incarnate and born of thee, for all thy servants who with faith unceasingly extol thee in hymns, and with fervor pray him to forgive the sins of them that faithfully worship by no pure and spotless child. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O holy martyr Syracus and Julia, pray to God for us. In an infant's body, yet in the mind of a perfect man, O martyr, thou didst cast down the author of evil, villainously working wickedness. Holy martyr Syracus and Julia, pray to God for like us. Like a fruitful vine, O martyr Julia, thou didst blossom with a truly courageous Syracus, who drips down the sweet wine of martyrdom. Holy martyr Syracus and Julia, pray to God. For thou us. didst gaze with compassion like a you upon the martyred lamb when thou wast slaughtered, O glorious martyr, admirable Julita. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fenced about with divine humility, O prize winners, you cast down the proud tyrant and carried off the crowns of victory. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The laws of nature are transformed in thy conception past nature, O thou who art in all ways pure, for beyond mind and speech thou gavest birth to the artificer. Wherefore hast thou turned thy face from me, O light, never waning? And why has a strange darkness covered me, wretch that I am? But turn me and guide my steps to the light of thy commandments, I pray. O holy martyr Syracus and Julia, pray to God for us. As thou was stretched out, and thy body was being spent in scourgings, O godly-minded Julita, 
Thou didst strip off the grossness of corruption and didst put on the robe wherewith the only begotten, who put on flesh from a virgin, has clothed man deifying them. Holy Martyr Circus and Juleta pray to God for us. Though thy body was stripped naked, thou didst disdain the shame of thy flesh, O Juleta, all celebrating martyr and persevering manfully, thou didst clothe with everlasting shame the enemy who stripped Eve long ago. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thy head was cut off, thou didst crush the head of the serpent, O all famed martyr Julita, and deprived of riches, thou didst inherit heavenly blessedness, and was given the immovable kingdom in company of the martyrs. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God, the word of God, took upon himself flesh, endowed with the mind and soul from thee, O Holy One, and he became man in his compassion, and deified me, who was cast away because of transgression, entreat him to save the whole world. Entreaty do I pour forth unto the Lord, and to him do I proclaim all my sorrows. For many woes fill my heart to repletion, and lo, my life unto Hades has now drawn nigh. Like Jonas do I pray to thee, raise me up from corruption, O Lord my God. O holy martyr Syracus and Juleta, pray to God for us. The all-praised martyrs sail the shifting waters of boundless torments with the steerage of the cross, and they truly cast anchor in the calmest of havens, drowning the invisible pharaoh in the streams of their blood. Holy martyr Syracus and Juleta, pray to God for us. The city of Iconium, which nurtured thee, skips for joy, O Juleta, Tarsus also boasts on thine august memory, for therein thou didst run the cause of martyrdom with thy son, and which vouchsafed crowns of victory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thinking nothing of entangling torments, thou wast shown to be a most beautiful swallow, who taking wing with thy fledglings, overflows all the serpent snares, O all Lord Julita, and wisely came to rest in the heavenly mansion. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With the cutting sickle of thine intercession, cut out the evil thoughts of my soul at their roots, O maiden, and show it to be fruitful, I beseech thee. For thou gavest birth to the planter of all the world, O God and Saviour. As the martyr of Christ God, the chaste Juleta, in her arms poor Syricus, she cried with great maternal joy, well in the midst of the stadium, thou art the strength of the martyrs of Christ our God. Enlighten my mind with the light of thy commandments, O Christ, that I may worthily praise thy saints and tell of their struggles. For what tongue could recount the contests which they endured and their rewards? Therefore I fall down before thee, O friend of man. Grant a respite now unto my wretched soul, giving me time for repentance. For unto this end didst thou willingly take flesh, that thou mightst lead all men back to life, whereunto the athletes have attained, as they unceasingly sing. Thou art the strength of the, of the martyrs, O Christ my God. Thou art the strength of the martyrs, O Christ my God. The three Hebrew children in the furnace trampled on the flame with courage and great boldness. They turned fire to do and cried out with a great voice, Blessed art thou, O Lord God, unto the ages. O holy martyr Syracus and Juleta, pray to God for us. Thou the transgressor break thy body with the rods, O godly martyr Juleta, he could in no wise shake the steadfastness of thy mind. For thou hast the cross of Christ as a scepter of power. Holy martyr Syracus and Juleta, pray to God for Shedding us. Shedding showers of blood, the athletes of Christ quench the fire of godlessness, eagerly crying out, Blessed are thou, O Lord God, unto the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Carrying in thine arms him whom thou brought forth, O martyr, 
Thou camest to the stadium, and thou hast finished a good fight twofold, while crying out, O Lord God, blessed art thou. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Following the words thou spakes, all we generations call thee blessed, O maiden, who has been shown to be the mother of the blessed God, who makes blessed them that believe in him. Becoming vanquishers of the tyrant and the flame by thy grace, taking exceeding care to keep thy commandments, the children cried out, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. O holy martyrs, Syracus and Julida, pray to God for Those us. Those bright stars who are unerringly fixed in the firmament of the church and enlighten the earth with their miracles are piously honored today by all who praise Christ unto the ages. Holy martyrs, Syracus and Julida, pray to God for us. As a divinely us. planted root bearing thy venerable offshoot as a young branch, O godly minded Julita, Thou hast withered the plants of ungodliness while crying out with him and saying, Thee do we supremely exalt, O Christ, unto the ages. Be blessed, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Being a most beautiful heifer, O Julita, thou brings the glorious Syricus as a young calf for a living sacrifice unto the Lamb who shone from the Virgin, and was slain in his extreme compassion. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When the Word became flesh of thine all immaculate blood, O maiden, he deified with divine knowledge them that had inclined unto the utterly brutish passions of the flesh. Him do we supremely exalt unto all the ages. Every year trembles to hear of the ineffable condescension of God, For the Most High willingly came down even to the flesh, becoming man through the virgin's womb. Wherefore we the faithful magnify the all-pure Theotokos. O holy martyr Syracus and Julida, pray to God for us. The shrine of the glorious prize winners bears healing, being watered with the grace of the Divine Spirit. Come, draw forth for yourselves, and be sanctified in soul. Be cleansed of your diseases, O you mortal lovers as you magnify the giver of good. Holy martyr Syracus and Julia, pray to God for You us. bloomed in the veils of the martyrs like roses, like sweet-smelling lilies, like divine shoots of paradise, O blessed Syracus and Julita, truly distilling sweet-scented delight and gladdening the souls of the faithful with mystical fragrance. Holy martyr Syracus and Julia, pray to God for us. You are made fair with the marks of martyrdom, O right victorious martyrs, and having truly become like the angels, you stand before God, gloriously crowned with the delightful diadem of victory, and asking that forgiveness of sins, be granted to them that honor you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The martyr carrying her son like a you, her lamb, passed without harm through the mist of wolves, and made her dwelling in the heavenly fold forever. By their supplications, O Lord, save us who reverence the sacred memorial. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O gate of the light, enlighten my soul, which is blinded by passions, and darkened with evil thoughts, and walks in peril, and draw me out of temptations, dangers, and afflictions, that I may glorify thee, the hope and strength of the faithful. Unripe in years and still a babe, thou in marvellous fashion wast as a man full grown in mind. And O Syracus, martyr, with fair Julita at thy side, who as a mother suckled thee, he took the crown of your contest with the saints of all ages. By whose prayers may we also obtain forgiveness and mercy. We 
Christ, the most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and honor the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. With the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes, the great brand and the navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy martyrs, Syricus and Julita of Iconium, with the prayers of the holy apostle Aquila, with the prayers of the holy martyr Justus of Rome, with the prayers of our righteous father Onesimus, the wonder worker of Caesarea in Palestine, with the prayers of our Father among the saints, Joseph the Confessor, Archbishop of Thessalonica, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Aquila and Hilary, who were perfected in martyrdom by stoning, with the prayers of the holy martyr Peter the New, Bishop of Crete, his feet having been cut off, who was perfected in martyrdom, with the prayers of the holy martyr Heraclius, who, having been beaten with clubs, who was perfected in martyrdom, with the prayers of our righteous father Nicodemus of the Holy Mountain, with the prayers of our righteous father Stephen of Makrishka, with the prayers of St. Idas, St. Those that is of Canterbury, and those with them whose memory we also keep this day, and the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good. And he loves mankind. Amen. In the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.